Okay, so let's imagine we have a free particle, but we want all momentum to, to, to contribute. We know that from the uncertainty principle, that means we're making this uh, go to infinity. And of course, the uh, uncertainty position or the range of positions must go to zero. Let's see that. So we have a uh, our weights in momentum or K looks something like this, so that we have a phi of K modulo squared, which is just a constant, right? So all momentum are equally uh, <coughs> contributing. So uh, the wave function of psi of X is equal to C over square root of two pi integral, um, from some negative value of, uh, of k, k naught to some value of k naught e to the minus i k x naught uh, e to the i k x in k um, and uh, we're making this k go to a large value uh, this looks like c over 2 pi integral from minus k naught to k naught of e to the i k x minus x naught in k <coughs> which is c over 2 pi 1 over i x minus x naught uh, this gives us uh, we have i to the uh, e to the i k x minus x naught uh, from minus k naught to k naught. So this looks like c over square root of 2 pi i x minus x naught times uh, e to the i k naught x minus x naught minus e to the minus i k naught x minus x naught. Um, so this is cosine <coughs> k naught x minus x naught plus i sine k naught x minus x naught. And then we're subtracting the cosine of k naught x minus x naught uh, plus i I'm um, sorry, minus i sine, but there's this minus sign here. Well, let's, let's write it out. So we have c over square root of 2 pi, i x minus x naught. Um, cosine of k naught x minus x naught plus i sine k naught x minus x naught. <clears throat> um, and I'm doing minus, right, this thing here is cosine of, it's this minus that, k naught x minus x naught. Um, so it was minus that, but there's a minus sign here, so it's plus i sine of k naught x minus x naught. And so the cosines cancel, we have 2i sine, and we divide by i, so we get c over square root of 2 pi, uh, or 2c, it's another little constant, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but the key is uh, x minus x naught sine of k naught x minus x naught, <coughs> and... Um, Right, so we have we have large k. K naught is a large number. We will be going from uh, minus some large number to some positive large number. So if we think of this phi of x. Um, we plot phi of x, um, and x equals at x naught. This goes to zero, so it's going to infinity. Um, This, uh, so this is varying, sine goes from, uh, so this 
from minus this uh, amplitude to plus this amplitude, right? So the sine goes from minus one to one. Whereas when we approach x naught, this is you know skyrocketing, going to infinity. So and when we are moving away, uh, when we are less than x naught and we're this way, but for, by a large negative number, this is negative. This is negative but uh, this is larger. So we're going to, to zero this way and we're going to zero that way when it's positive. So basically this is a, this is this narrow spike that we're expecting to get. Um, and so we see that we're singling out a unique position as we make K not go to infinity, we're narrowing the spike and in fact, that means a very localized particle, but the price of that is uh, a large range in momentum.